Beaches are on display at beaches and pools all over South Florida. Getting that rock hot, rock hard six pack is a goal of many an avid exerciser. Sometimes no amount of heavy duty crunching can do the trick. That's where a local plastic surgeon comes in with a new technique he calls ab etching. Local 10's Christy Kruger. Craig Sherman has been weight training for 30 years and for the most part likes what he's been able to achieve, with one small exception. It was tough to get that separation in, in the abs. You always had that little bit of extra fat that no matter how much I dieted, how hard I trained abs, how much cardio I tried to do, couldn't get it to look like I wanted it to look. Then Craig heard about a liposuction procedure called ab etching a specialty of Boca Raton plastic surgeon, Dr. Jason Posner. This is not a procedure for someone who's fat who wants to have abdominal uh, abs. No, no way. This is for those people out there who train, 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 and just can't quite get as sculpted as they like to train. To get that sculpted six-pack ab appearance, Dr. Posner combines liposuction with a fiber optic laser. And the laser uh, burns, the, burns the fat and it also helps the skin tuck down a little bit by contracting the skin a little bit. The entire procedure takes less than one hour, and while results can be seen right away, improvement continues over time. Nearly one year after surgery, Craig Sherman is thrilled to still have that washboard stomach he's always wanted. It definitely has made a difference, in, which now makes me train uh, you know, even harder, especially my abs, a little bit more cardio. Keep it, don't want to lose it now. Along with being in top shape before the procedure, patients still need to really work hard to maintain the effects of ab etching. The procedure will cost you $2,000 and does require general anesthesia. Recovery takes three to five days and patients are usually back to work in a week. With your health report, I'm Christy Krueger, Local 10 News.